So yesterday we studied the topic of uh, excretion in biology and we actually defined what the excretion is. We actually talked about the importance of excretion. We actually talked about the process of excretion. We also looked at the structure of uh, the ur urinary system. We also looked at the internal structure of the kidney. So today we're going to proceed. We're going to talk about the structure of the nephron. So each capillary is supplied with ox uh, is supplied with oxygenated blood by the arteries. So uh, the arteries, when they enter the kidney, they subdivide into the arterioles, and the arterioles they further subdivide into the capillaries, and thousands of capillaries they form a knot which is referred to as the glomerulus. And the glomerulus are surrounded by a cup-shaped structure which is referred to as the Bowman's capsule. So the Bowman's capsule leads to a core tuber referred to as uh, a rhinotuber. And after several turns and uh, several turns and uh, cores, the rhinotuber leads to a common collecting duct. And uh, the common collecting duct, they pass through, uh, they pass through the medulla. After passing through the medulla, they pass through the pelvis. After passing through the pelvis, uh, they go out of the kidney through the ureter. So all these structures that I've said, these are the structures that form uh, the nephron. So I'm going to try the points that I'm just from saying. So I've said each kidney is supplied by oxygenated blood by the arteries. So the arteries supply oxygenated Surprise to lead back to the kidneys. Then the arteries, when they enter the kidney, they subdivide into the arterioles. So the arteries subdivide into the arterioles. Then these arterioles they also subdivide into capillaries. Subdivide into capillaries. Then the capillaries they form thousands of nodes.